Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it is time to finally throw some color on this Humvee body. I've been waiting to do this for a very long time. And if you guys have watched the channel, you know what I'm talking about. So in the previous video, we did get the body all primed up. Now I'm sanding up. Right now, I've done the whole front right here, sanding. Now I got the rest of the Humvee to do, and then we can throw some base on this thing and go ahead and gloss clear, high gloss clear, the front right up here and where the windshield's gonna sit on. That's gonna be high gloss. The rest is gonna be matte. So stay tuned, guys. We got a ton of work in our hands. Let's go. So like I was saying, here, up here, this top of the windshield bar, and over there on the bottom is gonna be gloss clear coated, regular clear coat. Everything else, including the side over here and the rest of the Humvee body is going to be matte. I gotta catch my own self here. Yep, you can see I got a ton of sanding to do. You can see all these little runs. That's still from the military coating that was on there. Hey, they had so many runs in this. What, what, kind of, what kind of private PFC painted this thing? And if you guys notice, I'm not really going below this line right here because my jack rail is going to cover all of this junk right here. And it's just, it's honestly just way too time consuming to try to get that perfect. I've already drilled all the holes where the bolts need to go. So they really don't need to be done. But I have a ton of, like, when I say a ton of sanding, guys, it's, it's, it's an understatement. Like, I can't even describe to you how much it is. And it's just, I'm probably not going to film a ton of it because who, raise your hand if any of you guys want to see me sand. I'm like, no, that's not fun. I know you guys want to see paint on this thing as much as I do. And you want to see the same back on the body. That's what I want to see. Or back on the frame, whatever. Blah. So anyways, from here up is sanded. I still have from there back to sand. Many hours later. Yeah. It's fully wet sanded, guys. All the little nooks and nings are out that need to be out, I hope. Looks really good. Now, you guys have to remember, this entire inside is going to be covered in dynamite. So I'm not so terribly worried about these edges. Like, this edge of the fender was horrific this is the one i had to keep the top is beautiful in here it's just not this is where that steel plate was sitting that armor plate you know what i mean it's all going to be coated so the technically the inside of the paint job does not have to be perfect by any means or imagination but i wanted to look good the only part that's going to be seen <laughs> is just this outside piece and the b pillar and the outer part of the fenders and up front up here when you pop the hood like on the body itself that's that's pretty much it like the the rest of the stuff none of it's going to be seen i'm gonna have to put more work and time in the in the roof stuff like that i think the hood well i'm not going to say it's as much work as this because the hood was a ton of work it might have been more work than this technically i guess you'd say but all this this is the only part that's going to be seen is this outer the outer rim you know, A pillar, B pillar, C pillar, I don't even have yet, but that'll be on there. I'm done sanding, guys. It is almost five o'clock. I like it. It's night. It's getting later outside. Still light outside, even when it's five. I can't wait for summertime. Got a ton done today. Tomorrow, weather permitting, we're spraying this thing in. Got my new seals, they're all on there and installed. The glass is clean. Oh yeah. Let's put it in there. Tight fit. Well, looks like I'm buying glass, boys. 
dude, come on. This one was already chipped. Well, well, goodness. All right, it's the next day here, paint day. I've been wiping this thing down, waxing, grease, removing it. Uh, you know, finished sending it yesterday. Look at this. We got pollen already on its way. I just need to get this thing done, and this weather is not cooperating already again today. It's kind of, the fog's lifted a little bit. It was a little foggy this morning. You know, that kind of mist. It's been doing that all morning. So hopefully that's, it'll lift and get out of here. I can spray it here. I'd rather not spray it in the little shed area over there just because it's tight in there and I really don't, I want to be able to see everything on the inside so I don't miss anything. I don't mind doing the outside over there, but inside I just want to be able to do it out here. That way at least I can see. So let's go to work. Everything is good to go. Sanded, more sanded and more sanded. And let's start this thing, let's go. Oh, please, if it rains, I don't know what I'll do. Here we go. Let's get it done.
Okay, the base is down. Dude, that was a lot of work. I forgot how much it was to, to throw it down on a Humvee. So anyways, don't beat me up too bad, guys. Remember, this floor... Oh, A, hey, I mean, there's a lot of pieces missing in here. I high gloss these, by the way. Long time ago. But there's going to be dynamite on practically everything in here. Like those seat back, the, seat, the whole base of the seat bottoms. I still have to put these in and rivet them in, but they're, they're high gloss. You will see that a little bit. But the only part of the floor you would see if you weren't doing this it would be like right in here where the X is. But it looks, it looks really good. I have to admit, it's looking fantastic. Let me walk around this side. There's all the, so you can see now you can tell how the rhino, rhino lining and, or from one extreme, you know, stuff looks great against the flatness. Like in here, you don't have to worry about in there. That's where the snorkel goes. All that's hidden. Like the majority of this stuff is hidden in here. It's kind of nuts. That will be seen. The body line right here will be seen. But again, everything inside here is going to have dynamite on it. So I'm not overly, I, I almost ran out of paint. I mean, I had just enough and it was a gallon. So it took one gallon to spray this. Looks pretty good. Yeah, I thought about head fixing this a long time ago, but that reflector goes right there. So you won't see that spot right there either. It just, everything that I needed it to hit, it hit and it looks really good. So I'm, I'm pretty happy in it. And the sky is held off, knock on wood. But tell me what you guys think. So this is base. So gloss here, here, the line across the top right there. Everything else is going to be matte clear. So it's pretty much going to look like it does right now. Actually, this base coat, you can see more of the color. For everybody who thinks this Humvee is black, it is not black. It probably does look black on camera on a lot of areas but it's not there's almost like a copper brownish greenish color it's actually a kia color so for you guys that are wondering here uh, i can definitely it's the dark dark moss it's kia's dark moss color that's it i don't have the code off the top of my head but it's dark moss and it came out a little darker than what kia has on like when you spray theirs but when you put high gloss on this it really does shine it it looks really good but i'm happy guys i really am happy with it i can't wait to i'm gonna go ahead and order today all the dynamat that's gonna go in this it's gonna look good i'm even doing the seat backs right here like they had a run here that was still from the military paint this is the the only part that I think is a little messed up is right in here. This is where all I did all that body work. And it was a mess, man. That was such a hard piece to fix. On down the road, if we have to, we can redo this one side of the fender here and, you know, redo that if need be. But I don't know. It might look pretty good once it gets back cleared on there. Again, not worrying about the sides in this. You can tell that plate did a number on that right there. We got our new fender here. Looks good. Everything that needed to be hit got hit. I know I'm rambling on here, but I'm waiting on this thing to flash a little bit more. I'm going to shoot it with some clear and get this thing in there.
So high gloss on. Next, we're gonna go ahead and matte clear just the outer portion of the Humvee. Not gonna matte. Maybe um, the only thing that might get it is maybe right in here. Just that part of the dash maybe. And of course the, the edges, B pillar. Um, I am gonna do this, the tops, the toppers of the fenders and this strip right here in the back bumper and the rear part right here. So pretty much just the outside is gonna get matte cleared. So obviously, just like I've said before, it's gonna be dynamite under everything else. All right, she's done. However, I gotta fix this panel. Look at that big old run. And that run is in matte clear. You can't fix that. I'm just gonna have to sand it down. Once it's done, maybe I can not go through the base. Just sand it down and redo it right there. I was trying to hold that cardboard up from getting on the regular clear and Held the trigger too long on the gun. Oh, well. So anyway. It's looking pretty good. Over here looks great. Yeah, no issues over here. That, uh, yeah, just that other side. That really makes me mad. And remember, dynamat everywhere else. Looks good. Let's go look at it. I'm pretty uh, discouraged about this. Hang on, let me turn the lights on. Goodness gracious. There's pollen already all over it. Right here, man. Here's the deal. You can't even see it from that angle. Look at that. Unreal. Next day here, I'm going to try to fix my mistake. I hate that I did it. I got to run, run. And a little one on top here. Look at this pollen, guys. Check this out. So glad it's not in the clear coat, though. Woo! All right, let me get the sanding. I've got my sandpaper here. Start out with 600, 1,000, then 1,500. Dry sand, 600, wet sand, the rest. Sand it up. It is smooth. You can see where they were. After another coat, it'll be fun. Let's try this again. Money looks fantastic. I ended up doing this entire bottom section, top of here, and the actual top of this one. So I did the whole side of the Humvee just then, wiped off all the pollen. It looks really, really good. I'm pleased. Well, now that the Humvee's looking good, this just came in the mail, and I guarantee you one of you guys are bidding on this on eBay or watching it at least. Let's crack it open. Oh yeah. Dun, 
tailgate armor. Nice. It actually looks very straight. That's amazing. All right, so you guys know how beat up this tailgate is. I mean, there's a spray painted Chevy in the, on the middle of it right there. Awesome, Lance Cooley for life. However, this tailgate armor is brand new. I was looking at, there's only two of them on eBay and this one was new. And it, it is very straight, it's amazing. I'm gonna paint this high gloss. The rest of the tailgate is gonna go matte. But I think we gotta remove everything on here to be able to get this to sit on the tailgate. I don't know, but this looks amazing. Yeah, we'll save this for another video. But guys, this was this was great. It was about 400 and some odd dollars for this armor. But I had to do it because this, my tailgate is very, very jacked up. Like massive dent here, dents, 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 full dents. And this thing will give it some strength as well. Thing is stout. I think it's a, I don't know, eighth, eighth of an inch thick piece of steel. I mean, you could really make this at home if you wanted to. But that will be for another video. I got ribs smoking and I'm gonna go eat some ribs. Also, sorry if I snagged out, out from underneath one of you guys. <laughs> I had to pull the trigger on that one. Guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. Hey, the body is done. It is painted, it is clear coated. It is ready to go back on the frame. So that's gonna be here in the next video is us putting that actually on. So we got a lot of work done on this thing. I can't describe to you how much sanding happened and how much hours went into making this to what it is. And if anything is not correct or up to my standards, once we get it on there, I can touch it up. But again, the whole inside is gonna get dynamited. Not too worried about that. But stay tuned guys, next video, we're throwing it on for sure. So yeah, keep your post notifications on. See you next time, see ya.